Hello everyone, we would like to welcome you to our video channel. We are the Literacy Volunteers of Harrison County, a United Way nonprofit agency. We would love for you to watch our videos, to like them, to share them, and to subscribe. Thank you. Hello again. I'm calling again from Literacy Volunteers of Harrison County in Clarksburg, West Virginia. And my name is Miss Jody, and I have a book, a story to tell you. This is a true story, and it's called The Dog who sang at the opera. Now I'm going to hold this up and let you see this picture. The rest of the pictures in the book, this way, this way. Ah. We'll make sure that you can see because the pictures are all made out of watercolor and they're so soft it's hard to see. But you can see a picture of this dog. That is Sasha and she's a Russian wolfhound, a very fancy, very tall, big dog. And they needed her to be a special sort of in the background of a big opera. At New York City, it's called the Metropolitan Opera House, called The Met. And her owner, that's that lady in the red dress, is Suzanne. And so she, they said, please bring Sasha to the opera. Okay. I'm sorry, her name's not Sasha, it's Pasha. I was wrong, Pasha. Pasha was a beautiful dog and she knew it. Whenever Pasha and her owner, Shirley, went for a walk, well, not Suzanne, it's Shirley, <laughs> went for a walk, people turned to look. My beauty makes me a queen, says Pasha. And she stuck her pointed nose high in the air. Shirley worked at the Metropolitan Opera in New York City. She played the piano and helped the singers learn their songs. Operas are plays where everybody sings instead of talking. One day she came home excited, Pasha, I have wonderful news. We're going to be in the opera Manon. And we need a beautiful dog on stage during a festival scene. You are going to appear at one of the greatest opera houses in the world. Yes, yes, thought Pasha, of course. The next day, Shirley took Pasha to the Metropolitan Opera House. It's called the Met. There were dozens of people on the big stage and there was another dog. What a scruffy thing that is. What could he possibly be doing here, said Pasha, looking down her long Russian nose. Oh, he's coming my way. Hi, panted the little dog. My name's Sluggo. What's yours? My name is Pasha, Miss Pasha to you. Have you ever been in an opera before, Miss Pasha? No, snapped Pasha, but I listen on the radio. Oh, they're great. We've been in three of them. My master Sam the Clown and I do tricks together. A clown dog? What kind of breed are you? Oh, I'm a mutt, said Sluggo. You're a mutt. I was hired by the royalty in, British, in Europe. Je suis une reine. That's French for I'm a queen. She held her breath and she said, it's fun being related to lots of different kinds of dogs, said Sluggo. Look over there, there's the director. The director, he's very important. He tells us what to do. There was a tug on Sluggo's leash. Oops, the director's gonna talk. We've gotta go. The director made a speech and told the singers and the others where to stand. When he saw Pasha, he smiled and patted her head. Oh, you're so well behaved and so beautiful. You must stand next to our diva. Now a diva is the very most important singer. Her name is Manon. The diva is the biggest star in the opera. Shirley whispered to her, good luck, Pasha. Pasha looked at Sluggo smugly. Ha, I told you I was a queen. In the costume room, a lady put a sparkling necklace on Pasha and gave Shirley a long, pretty dress. Pasha noticed that Sluggo was particularly silly. He had a pointed hat and ruffle around his like a clown. The next morning, the dress rehearsal, every, the opera was, the dress rehearsal is like a practice where they go the last time when everybody wears their costume and so they know exactly where to do when on the real performance. Everyone loved the big festival scene. Singers sang, the acrobats flipped and twirled, tightrope walkers, the puppets performed on the stage. Sam the Clown came on in a brightly colored costume with Sluggo right behind him. Sluggo wore his pointed hat and walked on his back legs. Pasha was horrified. Sluggo even jumped through a hoop. Next, Manon sang her big song, which is called an aria. That's the most important song. The song is called the Gavant. Her voice was the most beautiful sound Pasha had ever heard. 
But that didn't matter. It seemed like Pasha, all the eyes were on her, the glamorous wolfhound in a glittery necklace. That night, Pasha had a wonderful dream. She was on stage at the Met in a red dress singing. She was the diva. Everyone was applauding. Brava, brava. Now you've heard bravo, but that's for a man. Brava is for a queen. Opening night came at last. Shirley and Pasha walked to their places. The conductor raised his baton. That's his stick. The orchestra started to play. The great gold curtain. This is a beautiful opera house. The audience applauded. Pasha was thrilled. Manuel sang better than ever, louder than at the rehearsals. There were more applause and brava. Then Manon started to sing. She sang her big aria. I walk down the road like royalty. Everyone looks at me because I'm beautiful. My beautiful makes me a queen. But that's not the way it is, thought Pasha. I am the queen. Everyone is looking at me. Pasha started to hum. Now this is the dog started to hum. Quietly first, then she began to sing. Ooh. Now have you ever heard a dog, when they hear a funny sound, they go, ooh. Well, that's exactly what Pasha did. Ooh, Shirley gave a little tug at her leash. The conductor looked up. Pasha lifted her head, thought the audience was getting, and she thought, it's like my dream. She sang even louder. Woo, she went. Woo, she said. Everything she said was woo. The louder she sang, the louder the audience laughed. They loved me, thought Pasha. She loved being a diva. Her voice blended with Manon's voice and the glorious sound of the Met Orchestra. There was applause, but Shirley quickly pulled Pasha off the stage before she could take a bow. All the stagehands were laughing. Those are the people who work behind the stage. Shirley was giggling too, but she was upset with Pasha. She knelt beside her, looking her in the eyes. Oh, Pasha, dogs are not supposed to sing at the opera. Never. Never. The director was not laughing. He told Shirley that Pasha could not be in the opera anymore. The sparkling necklace. No costume. They took it all back. While Shirley took off her own costume, Pasha sat down in a dark corner. She had never been in trouble before. She was beautiful. She was perfect. This wasn't supposed to happen. I suppose you're all right, Miss, Miss Pasha. Pasha closed her eyes and turned away. This is not a happy time for me. Please, I want to be alone. Sluggo looked at her. I thought you sang beautifully, Miss Pasha. No, no, please go away. Pasha opened one eye. You really think so? Honest, Miss Pasha, I thought your high notes were better than Manon. Spasibo, whispered Pasha with a smile. What's that mean, Miss Pasha? It's Russian for thank you. You're welcome, said Sluggo. That's English for any time. The next day, there was an article in the newspaper about Pasha, the dog who sang at the net. You're famous, darling, said Shirley. The phone did not stop ringing all day. That weekend, all of Shirley's friends, including Sam and Sluggo, were invited to her apartment for a concert. With Shirley at the piano, Pasha sang Mozart. She sang the music to the Russian composer, Tchaikovsky, and everyone applauded. When she sang Gavat from Mano, her big number, they stood and cheered. Brava, Pasha, brava. Sluggo waited until all the people had finished fussing over her. Then he came over. You look beautiful tonight, Miss Pasha. Spasilovo, she said. And you sang better than ever. I heard Shirley tell them the Paris Opera might be interested in you, Miss Pasha. Oh, Sluggo, you don't have to call me Miss Pasha. That's being silly. I'm just playing Pasha. Sluggo's eyes shone. I hear we're going to take a walk together, Pasha, tomorrow. Now tomorrow, Pasha, Sluggo, Sam, and Shirley go for walks together almost every day. But on Saturday afternoon, Pasha curls up in front of the radio and listens to the live broadcast from the stage of the Metropolitan Opera. She pretends she is there once more, wearing her jeweled necklace standing beside the star. And as she listens, she remembers what a beautiful voice Manol had for a human. And that's the story that was inspired by what really happened back in September of 1997. And we have, I'm gonna show you the picture and see if it shows you the picture. There is the real Pasha and Renee Fleming, who was the opera star, who sang that song. And she even got information in the New York Times Review. I hope you enjoyed this funny story because some, some dogs are just everyday and then some are a beautiful wolfhound who thinks she's a queen.
Goodbye. Thanks again for listening to the Literacy Volunteers of Harrison County.